Let's check out this cool little folding saw. This saw comes in a cool little box. I believe it's pronounced K-E, Kiri maybe? Focus and Creation. <laughs> Has like a little magnetic front. That's a cool little box for a cheap saw. We open it up. Oh. Japanese flush cut saw. Comes in its cool little bag. Pull this out. Oh, it's nice. It's almost like a, maybe an oak or a walnut type finish wood. Appears to be real wood. Hard to tell for sure, but that's what it appears to be. Has a little latch here on the side. We open up. And the blade just comes right open, almost like a butterfly knife. The saw has two different types of blades. It appears to be this one on the bottom here is a little more aggressive than the top. But let's test these out. For this test, I'm just going to use a 2x4 that I've clamped to my bench. For the first test, I'm going to use the blade that's on the top. I believe it's a little bit less aggressive, but let's find out. It is a little bit hard to get started. I think because the teeth are all facing in just a triangle tape shape. It is a little bit harder to get started. All right, so now let's test the other side. See how well it does. Oh, that's much better. Okay, obviously the ones on the bottom here for more of a cross cut. I bet this is more for a rip cut. Let's see if this side is better for a rip cut. Oh yeah, much nicer. So the top ones here are for a rip cut and the bottoms are for a cross cut. This saw can cut soft wood, but let's see if it can cut some hard wood. Here's some walnut. That was easy. In real small letters, right here it says this is a flush cut saw. So let's give that a shot. I'm gonna use just a little CA glue on hand here just to hold this in place. Running my finger along the edge of both of these saws, the crosscut saw is a lot more aggressive on the sides than the, the rip cut one. So I have a feeling it will mess up our material a little bit more, but let's try out both sides. Let's try the crosscut saw first. Now let's take a closer look at this. Wow, that did very little damage to the sides. So that is a pretty nice cut. Let's try the other side. Here's another close up. And it did very little damage. Well, it did do a little bit over here. That might have been user error, but it did cut into the wood a little bit there. But overall, pretty nice. So how does this little saw compare to a professional crosscut saw? Well, as you can see there, it is much, much smaller. I wouldn't expect the cutting capacity of this little one to be nearly as good as this big one. The teeth are probably a little bit smaller and probably won't last nearly as long. But right here, we're comparing apples to oranges. But the one big advantage this little saw has over this big pool saw is the ability to fold up and carry it with you, where this one, you can't. Now let's see how easy this is to fold back up. It's not an exact alignment on that one, but once you get it in there, it works. On the other side, same difference, line it up, goes in. And now all of those teeth are nice in the handle, and you don't have to worry about them cutting you. It also has this little latch here. Get it lined up, and that way it doesn't come apart really easily. That's a nice way to store your saw. That's pretty cool. So would I consider this a professional type woodworking saw? No, but this would be one of those great saws that you can easily put in your toolbox, use it when you need it, and then fold it back up when you don't. 